Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Dwayne Myers, and um, we're live. And um, I want to say it's Tuesday, July the 26th, 2017. And we have a, we have a show today where we're just going to give five tips to be more effective with social media marketing. And um, the question was, was brought to, to us by Yusuf. Hey Yusuf, what's going on? Hey Noah, what's going on? Thanks for saying hey man, how are you doing? Uh, sad, what's going on? Everybody, hey, hello, what's going on? Good morning. So today, today we have, uh, um, yeah, we have a good, good, good lineup. And let's let's just get right into it. So basically, I'll, I'll paraphrase what it is. He asked how to effectively use um, social media for your business and for your business and. Um, you know, it, it, it's a real good question because when, when I dug into it, yeah, it is a good question. At first I wasn't too sure, but it really was a good question. Um, because um, I'll paraphrase, you can check my blog today, I wrote this blog about it. Basically a startup saying like, you know, like, oh, everywhere you go, everybody you talk to, every every business, every agency you go to, they're like, hey, you need social media. Every, every contact you contact with, they're like, hey, you need social media. And like, if you were me, I'm not a social person like social media, like jump on Facebook just naturally and just know what to do. Um, our wives are like that, they're, they're geared like that, but I don't think most men are like, yeah, let's just be social. So um, what I realize is from a lot of clients that we deal with is they, they just get a social media profile and they really don't really know what to do. Or they just get one and just think that's it. You know, they get a profile and that's the end of the story. You know, they get a Twitter, they get a um, Facebook, they get a YouTube, and they're like, well, not so much YouTube, but Twitter and Facebook. A lot of people are, they're like, a lot of people that I deal with, they're like, yeah, I got Facebook for my business, and and you know, and you know, they like think that's the end of the world and we're good to go, yay. But as you know, because you're on social media, um, basically. There's a there's a lot to do to be um, effective on social media. There's um, anyway, so I'm gonna cut into it real quick just to, to give you some tips I, I gave Mr. Um, this is for everyone, including Mr. Yusuf. Um, the first tip on the blog post we wrote today is we came up with five tips. The first tip is learn how to um, to do social media marketing. Not just how to do Facebook mark. I'm um, not just how to use Facebook. Not just how to use uh, Twitter, but how to. And we're just gonna stick to those two for this, um, this example. Um, but just how to to do marketing on social media. Um, for naturals, um, that might be stupid because um, we have like a lot of businesses here. Um, I can mention a few that they're just selling on social media like nobody's business. They they're business. They have a in other words, their social media page is more like their web page. And from conversa conversation with them, they're like, I don't even need a website. And I've seen a lot of people, and I've seen a lot of people say that lately is like, I don't need a website, but I need a social media page. So yeah, a lot of businesses here locally, they, they don't have a website, but they have a page and they're doing pretty good. So why would you need a social media, um, blah, 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 blah. So long story short, yeah, you have to learn how to, to do marketing on social media. Absolutely imperative um, because it's just like, um, you know, you, if you're like me, you, you have to have your head wrapped around the whole thing before getting involved. And there, there are lots of tutorials out there. There are lots of tips out there. There's um, books, YouTube videos, join webinars. Um, just, just learn how to do it first. Um, learn to how to do it for your business first. That's, that's like mega important. Uh, tip two, uh, pick one network. Pick one network and get start started with it. Um, because there's so much um, overwhelming amount of information out there from, you know, like once again with me, when, you, when I was just getting started, it's like YouTube, Twitter, blah, blah, blah Instagram, um, Snapchat, and it's like, you you get so if if you're like me, I get so overwhelmed with all I get so overwhelmed with all the different varieties and all the different things, and it's just pretty much like 
not really sure not, not not really sure but because there's so much to do and so much to mention it just becomes like this clutter and you just don't know where to start so my my gig on that is pretty much just to pick one like the reason why I pick YouTube if you if you I'll be transparent with you I, I'm only gonna got do this in like 10 more minutes if you if you see my YouTube channel it's crap just to be honest with you Frank um, Twitter it's not good either but my Facebook channel is where I pick my focus to be um, and my Facebook channel we have 10,000 likes which is good um, we want way more but it's, it's not a bad start um, I definitely need to increase on the engagement which is why I'm here so pick one channel get started with it master it, dominate it measure your result get some sales and then move on to the next one um, my next channel that I'm going on is to, to work on is YouTube and Twitter, but I'll tell you about that in a second. And if you if you learn if you're starting from scratch like like myself was, you know I, I know I do this nine to five. This is what I do nine to five, but um, doing it as a business was doing it as a business wasn't really. It, it was a plan in motion from forever. So here I am, my plan in motion. So. Pick one, get started, master, then move on to the next. YouTube isn't isn't so bad. Just figure out how to drive traffic to your subscribers. I have a tip for you on that in a second, and we're gonna do probably an experiment to show you how it works. Um, and yo, number three, most important, and that's what I'm doing right now. Listen to your audience. Um, we we reached out to you, ask you what you like, what you don't like, what struggles, what um, problems you're having, things you need solving. Do the same. Don't don't just like go plan content. I've tried that before and just like slam, slam, slam. It doesn't work. Um, at least it doesn't work effectively. So ask your audience what what it is that they want. Find out what they their problems are. Find out what their needs are and and solve their solution. Um, this is so important. That let me let me just read this real quick. Um, this is one of the most important things you should do. Engage with your audience and ask them what they need help with. Where they're having hangups. What your biggest struggles are then provide solutions um, for them this will build long-lasting trust while creating credibility for you and your brand also this will increase your no like this will increase your no like and trust factor which in turn will increase your online sales um, if you're listening you probably heard me say this before well you could drive traffic from here till tomorrow um, or 10 years and the results that you get from this driving traffic, cold traffic to your site won't be as effective as if you listen to your audience, as if you build a relationship with your audience, as if you really, um, you know, help them. Let's just call it what it is, help them. And then um, when you, when they need your product and service, they'll they'll come to you or just ask them in other words. And, and that's the proper way to do things online. Driving traffic, which I know how to drive traffic, and I'm gonna show you how to drive traffic in a second. It, it's not the only, it's not the be end, the end all to the, your, all your solutions in the universe. Driving Facebook traffic, uh, PPC ads is not the, the end of the world. It, it won't solve your money problem, let's just put it like it is. Um, you have to really build relationship with these people. Um, tracking result and measure result. Like I picked these topics because I picked these five things just because I figured they're probably the most um, important things I can think of um, to be effective. Um, you can easily track the results. You can easily track the results with with Facebook. By the way, I'm not monitoring the the Facebook Live because we. I'll tell you about this another day. Um, we have a lot going on here. Um, so tracking the result is important, and in today's day, you can easily easily track the result from your Facebook ads, you can track your result from any PPC ad, you can track um, in your CRM, you can easily find out where you're getting um, your customers from, where you're getting most of your leads from. And if you are not doing that, you should do that. You should um, tag all all your leads, tag all your customers within your, your customer relationship management software and keep a track on where the most sales are coming from, etc., etc., so that you can actually spend more money in the avenues that are working and spend less money in the avenues that are not working. Lastly, tip five, um, be consistent. Um, as you can tell, I am trying to be consistent. It's it's not easy, but it's important. Um, what I did learn is, you know, these people give you, um, everybody watching, they're giving you, you're giving me your attention. Doing email marketing, I realize attention is very important. 
um, you, you could have a list that's 10,000 or a list that's 30,000 or in the case of I remember this, or in the case of I remember this due to a list of 500,000 people and if you if you don't have your customers or your audience attention it's kind of pointless if the list is a million people um, if you're opt-in if your open rate is 0.0 four percent or your click-through rate is point zero zero point four percent then it's kind of ridiculous I give you a story one guy had a list of five hundred thousand um, subscribers and another had a list of two thousand subscribers and they both performed financially the same um, volume of money um, um, income and one is five hundred thousand list and one is two hundred um, two thousand so you can tell with the list that's 500,000, the attention on, on that list that people are actually paying attention is, and the uh, list that's much smaller, a lot of people are paying more attention. So it's important that you be consistent. It's important that you, you um, basically value the people's attention, value their, they, them want to spend five minutes with you in the morning or five, 10, 15, 20 minutes to listen to you. Thank you, by the way, in the morning because it, it 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 at the end of the day long story short as i wrote today um big business large business small business every business they're fighting for people's attention and if you can't value your people's attention then pretty much they might as well go somewhere else because and, and they will because they're you know you, you you're not really um you know it, it's important just be value people's attention and be consistent if they expect you to show up at eight o'clock every day show up at eight o'clock every day four o'clock every day four o'clock every day etc etc anyhow i'm sorry to give you this um I, i'm sorry to give you this this downer uh, vibe on this whole thing it really is um after yusuf asked the question um anyhow the blog post is on my website today my name is Dwayne. um these are five tips to be more effective using social media um, just a real quick let you know my background I do social media marketing web development um, internet marketing SEO the whole nine yards I work nine to five doing this and um, this is what I do on my spare time uh, freelance well, not freelance but this is what I do when I'm not working I do the same thing that I do when I'm working anyhow God bless you anyhow God bless you it's Tuesday have a great day um, be safe and I will talk to you tomorrow